Hey everyone, uh, we're going to do a little uh, hair jig today. I developed this mainly to target smallmouth, but if you're in the right water, you know, clear water, uh, shallow, not a, a ton of cover, like really light cover to, you know, basically a rock bottom, um, this will... Uh, be a good I'd say it'd be a decent option uh, but it's mainly smallmouth is what I had in mind when I started making this so in the vise we have a 1 8 ounce tip up jig it's got a 1 aught Gamagatsu 604 and the color is uh, Barlow's powder paint pumpkin orange glitter uh i really like it it the uh, orange glitter it's almost hard to see here on the camera but it blends in with the brown really well uh it's a really i i really like all of those uh the more i use these powder paints the the more i get impressed by them every every time i use them it's something else you know, that I, I see the way it reflects, you know, how the light reflects off of it. And uh, it's just a, a really good series of paint. So uh, that's where I'm at with that. But anyway, we're going to get started. Like I said, one eight ounce tip up jig, pumpkin orange glitter, one aught Gamagatsu 604. And we're going to start with some super glue brush on just a little bit on the hook shank and we're going to use two ten denier flat wax nylon thread in brown and get our base started and we're going to go down to the hook point Okay, that's good. Now, real easy. We're gonna. This is this is a like a woolly bugger type uh, tie. Uh, that's what we're attempting to do anyway. Um, I'm calling it uh, a Helgra bug because that was one of the things in my head. You know tie in this is I want it to be a, a Helgramite type uh, pattern. So that's what I went with. So now I am taking this rusty brown awesome possum. And it is awesome. And we're going to tie that in. I'm saying uh, it's about a hook shank, hook shank and a quarter. You know, uh, again, I, it's not critical, I don't think, because uh, I haven't used it. But as far as woolly buggers are concerned, um, that type of tie... I've never had any issue with, like, if I made the tails a little longer, a little shorter. I have a little bit too much hair here, I think. Knock some of this off. Um, the awesome possum isn't real long. And I, I think I mentioned this before. It, it's, um, I would say, one aught is about the, the biggest hook you want to go with with this stuff. Um, a size one would probably be like perfect. 
And of course, it's great when you're tying crappy jigs with this. I mean, I, I, I'm loving everything I've done with this stuff so far. So, now we got our awesome possum and brown. Link looks good. All right, our awesome possum tail material is tied in, and the next thing we're going to add is some flash. This is orange flashaboo mirage, and uh, it has a, a really cool look to it. It's almost, um, it does have an iridescent shine to it which the color shifts on it and when you're uh dealing with like glitter in your paint and things of that nature uh boy i can't get the there we go i couldn't get the thread to grab hold of the the flash so what i did was i just took one strand of this flashable mirage in orange and cut it in half so now we got two pieces of flash on each side um, this has a, a really neat iridescent quality to it uh, it really the, the shift on it is, is really nice I mean it it doesn't take uh, much light for it like uh, with the glitter like you don't need sunlight or anything this stuff all by itself it will uh, draw off different colors I, it's hard to see on this uh, video but again I'm I'm not perfect with the with this stuff which you all know orange saddle hackle this is and let's see where we're at here now what i do when i trim up like feathers and i get one done and then i'll use that one to gauge my other one my uh second feather and by doing it that way even if um i messed up on the length a little bit it doesn't matter because both of them are the same size like if i'm doing say i'm doing 20 jigs or i know i'm gonna do a lot of them um I get my feather cut and then I'll just go right down the line and cut all of them and then that way I don't got to worry about it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start here at the top. The same thing on the other side. Yeah, orange saddle hackle. All right, our feathers tied in. Now we're going to tie in our rusty brown squishinil chenille.
and this is Rusty Brown Schloppen, or it might just be regular Brown Schloppen, but it's, I'll have a link in the description box of exactly what it is, but uh, it is Brown. Some some stuff is brown, some stuff is rusty brown, so that's where the confusion lies. All right, now I'm going to start wrapping my chenille here, or my squishy eel. And I'm using two schlopping feathers uh, just to give it a little more bulk. Like I said, it's it's going to be like um, a heavier woolly bugger. And, it, of course, that's where the name comes from, too. The Helgra, Helgra bug. You know, fly fish, uh, guys that fly fish, woolly buggers are, you know, um, that's a pattern that, um, depending on how, how it's tied, you know, the size of it, uh, multi-species type pattern. But for us conventional guys that are, are doing this, you know, in a jig form, um, I think the, the woolly bugger, when you're fishing it lightweight, uh, I think what you're looking at is, again, I, I really do believe that, uh, this is making a really decent Helgramite pattern. That's just me. I, I don't know. I don't know, you know, what the fish see. I don't know um, if we knew exactly what caused the fish to bite and what they see. Uh, I think we'd be millionaires because, after all, uh, if you knew that, you can almost guarantee you'd catch them constantly. Now I'm twisting these up because I want it to uh, I don't want it to come apart as I'm wrapping it. And I also want uh, these to be a little heavier, the the feather part of it. Instead of having like a regular woolly bugger pattern, this is going to be a little heavier because I want it to mimic, you know, legs of a, a Helgramite. We're going to get our... Our Helgrabug. Almost. Almost.
yeah, that's kind of a, a neat deal. But we're not done yet. Now... This is uh, Orange Nature's Edge. And I'm just going to take a few strands here. And we're just going to take uh, six strands here. I think it's six. Yep, six strands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it right in the middle of the skirt tab. I apologize for getting I'm getting myself all mixed up here. I got a lot of stuff on my mind and I'm trying to Okay, almost. Almost done. I keep saying that. looks pretty good. We'll see when we cut it. Okay. Now I'm not going to throw any uh, I'm not going to throw any head cement on here so I don't uh, get it stuck to my fingers when I show you what we have. Whip finish. Boy, I struggled with this one today, but Ah, uh, we'll throw some head cement on here anyway. We got, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to hold on to it or uh, without it getting all over the place. But we have plenty of room. Beautiful. Now we'll trim off our skirt here. That's about right. I'm also trimming off this, uh, the skirt strands. I want it just below that 
bend it a hook, not much further than that. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we have here. Get our clamp. Yeah, I struggle. <laughs> Again, when I was making these, I had no problem whatsoever. And as soon as I put one on camera, I do apologize for it taking as long as it did. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know what's going on today. I'm having a, a difficult time. But there we have it. That's our little Helgra bug. And what's neat about these is because of that, Because of that flat spot with this tip-up jig, that's what you're, you're going to have on the bottom. That's going to be your presentation. And I think this is going to be a killer, killer smallmouth pattern. But we have to let see what the fish decide. But there you have it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.